In this video we will talk about the basics of TIG welding. TIG stands for Tungsten Inert Gas and is technically called Gas Tungsten Arc Welding or GTAW. In the TIG welding process, metals are fused together by heating them with an electric arc established between the tungsten electrode and the workpiece. The molten metal, tungsten electrode and the welding zone are shielded from the atmosphere by a stream of inert gas which flows through the welding torch, usually argon gas. The small intense arc provided by the pointer electrode is ideal for high quality and precision welding and the filler rod is melted into the metal to form the weld pool. Why use TIG welding over MIG or MMA? TIG welding is free from spatter that occurs with other arc welding processes. It can be used with or without filler metal as required for the specific application, which provides for separate control over the heat input and filler metal additions. The biggest benefit is that you can get your power down really low and not blow through the metal when using thin gauge metals, such as kitchen sinks and toolboxes, which reduce the chance of distortion in the metal. TIG welding must be operated with a constant current power source, either DC or AC. A constant current power source is essential to avoid excessive high currents being drawn when the electrode is short circuited onto the workpiece. Some TIG welders will have an AC DC switch. Use DC current for welding steels and AC current when welding aluminium. Some TIG welders have a DC current only and will only weld stainless steel and mild steels. The ability to soft start and soft stop the heat makes the TIG process different from other types of electric welding. The welding arc can be started by scratching the surface, forming a short circuit. It is only when the short circuit is broken that the main welding current will flow. However, there is a risk that the electrode may stick to the surface and cause a tungsten inclusion in the weld. This risk can be minimised using the lift arc technique, where the short circuit is formed at a very low current level. The most common way of starting TIG arc is to use HF, high frequency. HF consists of high voltage sparks of several thousand volts which last for a few microseconds. The HF spark will cause the electrode and the workpiece gap to break down or ionise. Once the electron or iron cloud is formed, current can flow from the power source. The TIG welding process is used to weld almost all metals and metal alloys in use today. It is a particularly effective and economic way for welding light gauge metals under 3 mil thickness and for welding metals difficult to weld with the conventional welding process. Such metals include the following. Aluminium and aluminium alloys, copper and copper alloys, nickel and nickel alloys, magnesium and magnesium alloys, low alloy steels and carbon steels. It is important to select the correct electrode diameter and tip angle for the level of welding current. As a rule, the lower the current, the smaller the electrode diameter and the tip angle. And also the tungsten is suitable for the material you are welding. And it is prepared in the correct way. There are a few main parts of the TIG torch, let's take a look how they go together. Torch handle, tungsten electrode, collet, collet body, alumina cup and back cap. The collet slides into the collet body, which then screws into the torch head. The tungsten slides through the collet, the alumina cup screws over the collet body and the backing cap holds the tungsten at the desired stick out length. Shielding gases are necessary in TIG welding to protect the weld area from atmospheric gases such as nitrogen, hydrogen and oxygen, which cause defects. The gas also transfers heat from the tungsten electrode to the metal and it helps start and maintain a stable arc. And making sure your workpiece is cleaned of any rust, paint or other contaminants before you start to weld will ensure a stable arc. And make sure you have the correct welding helmet suited for TIG welding with variable shades of 5 to 9 and 9 to 13. Using the lower shade setting is ideal for TIG welding.